morning, good morning, good morning. Today is the day of my surgery. Yes, I'm doing a mommy makeover. I'm here in Miami. And right now it's about quarter to 11. My surgery is 11.30. So I'm going in the shower to take a shower. I have this special antibacterial soap that they gave me to use. So right now I'm going to take a shower and I have to use this soap. Can't use any lotion, deodorant, nothing, just this soap and that's it. Okay, so I just got a call from the doctor office. Um, they wanna reschedule my surgery for one o'clock instead of 11.30, so I don't know. Um, I haven't eaten since 12 o'clock last night. I've been NPO. So, girl is starving right now. And now getting that news that I have to wait until one o'clock. Uh, so, not too happy about that part. Cause girl need to eat. Yeah, so anyway. Um, just gonna relax. I'm not gonna work on the shower right now because I have to use that soap right before my surgery. So I'm just gonna hop back into my bed and relax and just take my mind off that food because girl is starving. So I, after receiving that call that they delayed my surgery, guess what? Girl put some swimsuit on and I'm on my way down. I'm gonna go in the pool and spend a lot of time in the pool in the meantime. And yeah, just relax myself in the jacuzzi and the pool instead of locking myself up in the room. Yeah, so I'm gonna go downstairs, head out in the pool and just relax a little bit until it's time for my surgery. Then I would come back up and use that antibacterial soap to take a shower with, and then I head over to my surgery. So come along with me. Stay along with me on my journey. My mommy makeover journey. my husband over there knocked out. Someone is sleeping where they put their mask on. <laughs> Who's sleeping with their mask on? Corona time. <laughs> you came down for breakfast, you never, you never come back up. Time is officially here. The time is here, guys. Time for surgery. Time to get rid of those stubborn body fat. Yeah. 
I'm excited to get my new body. So I'm excited. I'm not really nervous, but I am excited. Can't wait to get this over with. It's a joy for me. Can't believe this moment is finally here. Seems like a long time coming, but it's finally here. And I'm excited. It's hot out here. I just can't wait to see my result. So yeah, I was here yesterday to get my pre-op done. And now is final day. Almost there. So we are here. Back to Miami. So my appointment is at one o'clock. Oh, I have to ring the bell. Ding dong. Got to take my temperature. Oh, <laughs> it says no entry. My temperature is 101. What the heck going on? They said I have a temperature. Okay. You go and see. No entry. Huh? You go and see. I guess because we were walking in the it's sun. It's yeah. It's hot outside. <laughs> you said, please what? Wear a mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you say? Please wear a mask? All right, let's try again. All right, so what do we need to do? Uh, I guess we got to um. Wait, till it cool down. No, he said we can't go. <laughs> really? Really? Huh? Yeah, really. So we gotta put these socks on. Today's my day. Give me a break. Why are you going to be a beauty warrior? Wait, is it upside down? Yeah. The moment is here, guys. So, I'm very comfortable with going through this procedure. And I'm looking forward to see my good result. What result are you looking for? My hourglass shape. Waist snatch. All the way back. I'm kind of excited. I'm not really nervous. I'm surprised my stomach is not. I think I'm doing good. They just gave her pills to calm her down anyway, so. Well, it's not that I. The pill wouldn't work that fast anyway. Well, I'm already calm. Is that so? Yep. What's that? What's that on your feet? It's for a massage, so I don't have any blood clot. So I massage my leg. That's what it's doing. Yes. Help for circulation. Circulate the blood. Would you recommend here to anyone else? So far, yes. What about where you're staying? Where I'm staying, it's it's nice over there too. Everyone is so kind, helpful. It's quiet, it's clean. It's a nice place. And how many hours of surgery? Four? Four and a half hours. Four and a half? Wow. How much pills did they give you? Four. Tylenol with Benadryl. And then the other two is for anxiety. My experience so far is going pretty good. Except they delayed my surgery. So did you tell the doctor what you want? Yes, I did. And what did he say? He, he got the assignment. You know the assignment. And what's the you assignment? Know, you know exactly what I want. That is why we come this far, right? Yeah. Hey, for all that money, you better know. <laughs> 
He better not this assignment. <laughs> well, what's, what are you doing? Explain to us. I'm getting a mommy makeover, so I'm doing a breast lift, lipo 360, and BBL. A hipster? Thinking about it is more nervous than doing it, right? When the thought of you... You know what? I'm really not nervous. No, but the thought of when you just try to make the appointment, things like that, it's like... No, if you... When you watch the videos and stuff like that, how they do the lipo, then you get so nervous. But other than that, I'm okay. So that's why... Do you recommend people I, watch I just, the video? I just tell myself that I'm going to sleep I'm not gonna know what what's going on, so I don't worry about that part. The only thing I'm worried about after the surgery, what I look like. So you don't the want success one, of my surgery. That's all I worry about. You don't want one butt cheek bigger than the other. <laughs> one breast longer than one. I'm not even gonna think negative, so. I'm staying positive, staying focused. Hey. Oh, there you go. Alright, we've got a couple of pages to fill up. Can you please give her some more water? Because it's going to give her like a quarter cup of or that's not. I can't give her any more water, no. Oh, that's recommended for the for the. Uh, it's surgery. just to take the tablets, yeah. She can't have any water or anything. But you feel like anything. it's right here. You feel like just need like... a little bit more to push it down. Okay, honey. Try swallowing really big a couple <laughs> times and I'll see if I can get you some more water, okay? Okay. Alright. <laughs> She's talking. Just a little bit. She's talking. Not a lot. Just <laughs> well, a no, bit. if she can't talk, she's got something stuck. <laughs> it's talking. It ain't stuck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let just you cheat. I'm going to okay. let you cheat on me, okay? Thank you. But this is the first and the last time I'm letting you cheat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's doing its job? Yeah. It's okay. All right. What did you say about implants? No oh, implants. I want to make sure I got it right. <laughs> Trust me, if you didn't pay for it, you're not getting it. Um, so welcome. Where are you from? Connecticut. And ethnically, I hear it's an accent. Are you? Oh, Jamaican. Jamaican. Wagwan. Yeah, man. Yeah, everything Irene. Irie. All right. Well, welcome. Uh, we're honored. Um, so this is your anesthesia consent form. If you're okay with that, sign there. If not, it's going to be a long day for you. Perfect. Do you have any questions for me? No. No? Just want to get over with this. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. It won't be too much uh, longer. Dr. Miami will come in and see you shortly. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank nice meeting you. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. What's your name again? Barry. Barry? Okay. Yep. That's easy. Or in, or in your country, it would be what? Like Barrington. <laughs> Barrington. <laughs> okay, what was your experience with that? It's simple, easy. Looking down, you're praying? I'm always praying. So why do you have three bands on your hand? So this is for allergy. What is my name tag? And one is the number I should call if I need anything. You can always come back and put that. Or I don't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs>
but she is still in the theater in Jamaica we call it theater she's still in the uh, operation room you know but I'm here just pondering pondering around the room walking and back and forth just pasting uh, this is the bed that they came in and put the pads on they also brought a recliner in because you know she's doing the, um mommy makeover so she's doing back her back her sides her front her stomach her chest and whatever so they came in and the nurses came and pushed some fresh bed pads wrapped the pillows wrapped the pillows up put like triple a couple of bed pads she put tape on it she put tape on it right here to seal the bed pads so they don't slide off but she put a she put a, a quite a few you know pillow she covered the pillow up because she's like if we ever get any blood any blood on these sheets the recovery house slash hotel will charge us a lot of money for those nice white sheet <laughs> you know for these white sheet over here they're gonna charge us a lot of money that was here I was here you know laying down for a minute because I try to do things to try to take my mind off of the whole process you know yeah so that's that she's over here stacked up with all her little things that I that we bought for her to um, have for the for the next uh, nine days she's gonna be here because we said there's ten days but you know today don't count I guess so this is all her little fruits and things that she's gonna be having don't mind my all my cords then she's gonna be having her orange banana and things like that okay, so they say every time she get up to go use the bathroom they're gonna come over here and they're gonna change the the bed pad see she even did I guess this lady know what she's doing because she wrapped this <laughs> pillow very nice <laughs> like it's a gift I'm gonna hire her for Christmas to come wrap my Christmas gifts for me <laughs> look at it she did a nice job wrapping it it was me it would have been chaka chaka but she did a good job wrapping that up and things like that so I'll check back in with you guys in a few uh, she also came in and she put some of the Gatorade in the fridge for her to um get cold she said oh when she comes in the room we gotta put the air condition on because you know she's gonna be wrapped up so you know let me do that from now finally guys the call is here the call is here I'm the call is here finally guys so here we go hello hi is this Andrew yeah this is Andrew Veryl, how you doing today? Good. Just calling to let you know that Miss Bailey is all done out of surgery. She's oh, okay. in the recovery room. And she should actually be heading back to you by 8.30, 8.40. She should be back at the hotel, okay? Okay, thank you. That's a good relief. That's a good sign. Oh, my relief is over yeah, now. <laughs> every, everything, went, everything went well. She's doing well. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Have a good night. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. Mm. <sighs> okay guys the wait is finally over if you could hear my heart doo -doo 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 -doo. oh my god the fine the wait is finally over I really I got the call of relief okay so within 45 minutes you should be back in the room everything went well and oh you don't know you guys you guys don't know the feeling of relief that I'm feeling right now because it's so overwhelmed in overwhelming it's 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 a good feeling right about now guys everything went well she's out and um yeah yeah <sighs> yeah my heart rate went down they just gave me the call and said she's out so I'm gonna be calling around so I gave you the first call see you see how lucky you are you get the first call from me <laughs> Yes, I haven't called anyone yet, so you're the first one. It's now okay. seven, eight, seven fifty nine and eleven seconds, and I gave you a call to let you know that she's out. Okay. So, all right, all right. Bye -bye. So, 
Yeah, so now uh, they said that she's going to be coming back to the room within 40 minutes. So she's going to be in her recovery room at the moment. I'm calling Auntie Delcia now to let her know that everything is okay. Everything is over. Yeah. Hi, Auntie Delcia. She's out. She's out. It's, it's over now. She's, um... Uh, no, she hasn't been... She's not in the room yet. Huh? The surgery just finished at 8 o'clock. How did she go? I don't know. I haven't seen her yet. She's, the lady's going to go for it. But the nurse says everything went well. She's going to be recuperating for the next 40 minutes. So. Hello? Yes, Auntie Juliet. Yeah, okay. She's uh, she's over now, so she'll be coming to the room in a few minutes. Okay, she's good. She's good. Okay. Yeah, they just called and they said that she should be uh, back in the room by 8.30. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Hi, Grandma Shirley. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Good. Yes, God is good all the time. Yeah, okay, that's all true. Time, God is good. She's been sleeping for hours. We wake her up and she gets up and she goes back to sleep. She was able to stand. We wrapped her up and then she knocked out again. So I'm gonna go get the other girls to see if we can wake her up and put her here on the bed, okay? Okay. On the, on the recliner. Just said, mommy, sweetie, we're here in the room. Did she did she wake up to you? No. No. She didn't wake up. Okay. Let's see. Her. Um, Gatorade. Just said, you want some Gatorade? Mm-hmm. Let's give her some Gatorade. Let's see if she drinks something cold. It'll make her wake up. She's up, I think. You hear us? Do you hear us? Drink oh, something, Jacinth. Drink, Drink a little bit. Hey. Swallow. Mm -hmm. Good Gonna job. wake you up. Mm. There you we see? go. Yeah. Eyes open. Oh. Food. <laughs> yeah, I told you something cold. That's why I told you to put it in the refrigerator. Turn around. Okay. You're going to try to sit in the middle. Okay? In the middle of the bobby pillow. Slowly. In the middle, Toya. No, no. This way, Toya. Okay. Right there. Go, back. go a little bit back. There you go. There All right, Toya. Oh, she Good did it. Job. We made it. Right. All right. Yeah, yeah you can go, go to sleep. sleep. That's my baby right there. She got her booty on her feet, so stop her from getting blood clot. That's her. So she's out, you know. So just let her stay there and sleep. That's that. Give us, give us some juice. She's like, can I go back to sleep? Yes, you can go back to sleep. All right. So we're gonna let her go back to sleep, and I'm gonna be right here laying down, um, and everything like that. Okay, guys. All right. So yeah, guys, that's it for the night. My baby's here next to me. No, you know, look at her. She's wrapped up she didn't, she didn't sleep on the bed last night that they made for her so beautiful and diligently she, and she's on her cushion she's on her cushion she slept in the sofa last night right there the recliner chair good morning guys well it's the next day after the surgery she's doing fine she's um resting uh, she's Taking her medication. If you're not strong, guys, don't come with your ladies. That's a that's a fact. Because um, if you don't like blood, don't come. After the she go to the bathroom and they remove that the pads. All you see is just drain on the floor. You know, and um, it's like wow. But you know, after the nurse came in, she went to the bathroom three times. The first time when she came in last night, you know, we have to text them because we can't call them. We text them and say, hey, she wants to go to the bathroom. And then someone come and uh, assist her to the bathroom. That was the first time she went. The second time she went was about 5.30 this morning. I was uh, sleeping. I, I, she woke me up, text, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. I text the nurse. They came in to go to the bathroom. I fell back out sleeping while they were in the bathroom with her. And this morning, about 7 o'clock, she woke me up again. Hey, I need to go to the bathroom. I text the nurse. And then that's when you really see 
watery liquid or whatever. Gushing out of uh, like the little puncture wound that the doctor had uh, sucked the fat out of or whatever. And then we had to buy like stay free maxi pad. Uh, the maxi pad is not for our menstrual cycle. The maxi pad is for observing the blood, absorb observing. <laughs> like it's looking at it, right? Uh, to absorb the blood around like the waistline, the back of the waist, uh, or back and things like that. That's why uh, we bought the maxi pad for it and um, the pen diaper depends because what happened is the drainage of the blood runs down and everything gets caught in the, 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 the pen diaper. So that's my experience. It's If you're not strong guys, you know, don't come. If you don't like to see blood, don't come. But if you want to support your woman, do come. Because the more you support her, the stronger she will be, the better it will build your relationship with her because at least she knows that you care for her and that you will be there to support her throughout thick and thin you know and that's what they're looking for they're looking for mental physical support and that's what i'm here for to give her uh, the support that she needs but uh she's there now they give her like six six um different kind of medication you know three seven seven different kind of medication uh 800 milligram ibuprofen, pain medicine, nausea medicine. It's something to experience, you know? Yeah. She just took some medicine, but now she's kind of saying she's feeling nauseous. Oh, you know what I should do? I'm gonna give her one of her, nause her nausea pill to have her feel better. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I'll check in with you guys later. Peace. Thank you.